don't you come and visit. Okay, and you do just to get it to stop. Rock 101. Rock 101. Hello. Hi. Uh, the name of the mystery comic? Yeah. Is it James Gregory? Would you repeat that, please? James Gregory? Yes, it is. Yay! Who's on the phone? <laughs> Hi, Gail. Obviously, you've seen James Gregory's act. Yes, I have. <clears throat> well, then you don't need tickets to see it again. Rock 101 WROQ, the upstate's home of rock and roll. And the Friday Funnies, when the Punchline Comics visit us every Friday morning between 7.30 and 9, give you a chance to win tons of tickets to Rock 101 night next Tuesday at the upstate's premier comedy club, the Punchline. Oh, we have a very special guest in our studio this morning. You've heard him a thousand times, and every time he continues to make you laugh. Ladies and gentlemen, James Gregory! Right. Good morning. How are you doing? How are you? Fine. 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 Just a couple of days late here, James. We had lots of tornado warnings and thunderstorms. Oh, they hit Ardmore, Kansas last weekend. Yeah. yeah. What kind of people... I was at the CNN Center in Atlanta Monday, mm -hmm. taping a segment for their news broadcast. Right. And my anchor man told me, he said, well, I guess you see that we gave you some more material last week. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is it? What kind of people get hit by these tornadoes? The same people that see UFOs. Really? It's the same thing. <laughs> I mean, you look at them on television, you say, this guy looks familiar. Then you say, oh, that's that UFO eyewitness I saw last month. <laughs> now, you have to qualify, you know, right? to become a UFO eyewitness. Yeah? There's four qualifications. There used to be three, but I added one. And they are. Well, number one is you have to wear a baseball cap. Right. <laughs> number two, you cannot have all of your teeth. <laughs> number three, you have to have like a half a pound of keys on a pull-out chain. Yeah, all so the time. Half a pound of keys don't fit nothing. <laughs> and finally... The number four reason. Number four, mm -hmm. at one time in your life, you would have had to live in a trailer park that got hit by a tornado. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. There we go. See, tornadoes never touch an intelligent man's home. No. <laughs> At least they can't find one to talk to on the news. It must be a law. I don't know. No, exactly. <laughs> right. James Gregory is in our Out of Control over Top Park Central. Now, we have some good news and some bad news. Uh -oh. Every Friday, over the last three months or so, uh -oh. people have become acquainted with our own whammer jammer man with harmonica in hand, Joe Carr. Oh, well, why didn't I have... Yeah, Joe is here. That's the good news. The bad news is <laughs> harmonica in hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to ignore that, but I thought I'd better clarify that. So Joe is here. The bad news is, this is this is Joe's last show. Oh, man, Joe's leaving us. Man. You gotta move on for family reasons, I'm told? Yeah. Uh -oh. I may come back sometime, but right now I've my, all my family's going, Joe, when are you coming home, man? You've been gone three years. So you're gonna go spend some time with family and... Uh, yeah, go do some scuba diving with my brother. You will stay in touch with us by phone, I hope. Oh, definitely. Letter, phone, videos, the whole... Up. All right, we won't we won't let this put a damper on the events today because we're gonna make this the biggest party ever. It's kind of a going away party for Joe Carr with James Gregory, our special guest. The Friday Funnies are on at Rock 101. Let's kick it off with the Friday song, okay, Joe? You got it. Blow, Joe, blow. <laughs> You get on up to get it on. Just keep turning that dial till you hit step 101. Riding with 101. Riding with 101. Riding with 101. Riding through the riders and zone. When you're riding with 101, you got the others on the run. You got a favorite request line to give you anything that you need. Well, you know that they got it because they know it's on rocks that you feed. You get off your toes now, get on up to your feet. Riding with the 101. Riding with the 101. Riding with the 101. Rock to the rising sun. When you're rocking with 101, you got the others on the run. Rock it. Jammer 
man with harmonica in hand. <laughs> I had to get you, Mike. I had to get you before you go home. Yes, the Dr. Mike Allen Sports. Excellent. Yes. Thank you. Anyway. I'll uh, see you soon, buddy. You go and get some rest. Okay. Take it easy, Jeff. <laughs> you too, bud. Uh, Steve, make sure you get the yeah. works for me. You get out there. No, I'm going to no, get some hold, TV. Hold on, hold on. Tell me what's all about how you Stop it. Okay. All right, we'll do a little uh, cross talk and we'll invite list tickets to you again. <laughs> especially when a headliner like yourself is here. Rock 101, WROQ, the upstate's home of classic rock and roll and Neil Young's Heart of Gold. 7.36 in the morning, 24 till 8, the Friday Funnies are on. The punchline headliner, James Gregory, in town tonight and tomorrow, two shows. You can call 235-LAUGH for reservations. If I took a survey at the punchline 52 weeks out of the year and asked who their favorite performer would be, you're kind of like the house favorite, James. Oh, yeah, that's good to hear, of course. You know, I've been coming to Greenville since 1983. And Green was one of my favorite stops. I've been coming here a long time. You probably make about three or four trips to the upstate per year? Well, I come to, uh, well, South Carolina, I make several trips a year. To Greenville, I did one week a year and one week of the year. And you did that Red Cross benefit. Yeah, we do that every year, too. Kind of a special appearance. Last time I saw you, it was out at the voter registration drive in front of Greenville Memorial Auditorium. Yeah, that was last year, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And before that, you were at the Double Wide Dump in Williamston. This is your first visit to... Oh, yeah, y'all had that radio station that was out in the cornfield. Uh-huh. That's, yeah. That was in a trailer, as a matter of fact. Yeah, it was. It was a double wide, though. It was nice. It certainly was. <laughs> as a matter of fact, it, I understand. Indoor toilet and everything. We used to turn it off whenever tornadoes would come around the upstate. We'd say, we're going home. You should. <laughs> and and I, think, I think the Dr. Mike Allen, who works all night, I think he spotted a few UFOs, as a matter of fact. Oh, well, I'm sure he did. And if you, if you look real close at Mike's pocket, he tries to impress the girls, but really inside his pants, is that big old key <laughs> ring that you were referring to. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't ask him if he's happy to see you. He'll just whip it out and you'll be disappointed. Right. <laughs> anyway, the uh, opportunity here to win free tickets to the punchline is happening. Okay. Or no, that would be right between 9 and 10. A day in the life of production. There he goes. And here goes Steve in his studio. Daniel Ramos. Reputed to be America's most prolific graffiti artist. He was uh, arrested again, uh, to be questioned, less than 24 hours after being released. Uh, Office. Uh, his nickname, Chaco, was swollen. This is another studio in here. WROQ exclusive River Place weekend weather track. Sunny today, partly cloudy tonight, and a slight chance of scattered showers or widely scattered thunderstorms tomorrow and Sunday. High 85, low 55. That chance of rain only 20%, which is insignificant. Hopefully it won't rain on our River Place. Right now, Midtown Greenville at Top Park Central is 53 with Gary Moore in the Blues on Rock 101 at WROQ. Okay, let's go to the phone. Rock 101. Hello? Hello, is this Rock 101? That's what I just said, sure. Uh, I, I have still for you. Okay, go ahead and try and stump us. Okay, do you know where cousins come from? Where do cousins come from? Where do cousins come from? I know West Virginia. Ants. Cousins come from ants. I think. That's not the whole answer. From ants and uncles. Uh -oh. From... Ant holes. Ant holes! Hey! All there right. we go! We got it! Yeah. Thank you, James. One for you. Rock 101. Yeah, uh, what's God say when he saw Eve washing herself in the river? Mm. Mm. How in the heck am I going to get the smell out of the fish for crying out loud? Lord have mercy. <laughs> two for us! Two for us! Good morning. you got to be good. Try and stump us. First of all, they say... Miss Joe, he plays one hell of a harp. I gotta miss. He, he does play a hell of a harp. Yeah, right. He Thank you. Play a damn good harp. Mm -hmm. I got a joke for you. Why do women have legs? Why do women have legs? Yeah, think about it. Not for us to look at. Oh my goodness, it has something to do with snails. So they don't, don't leave a trail. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there you go. Oh! There you go. Good one. 
All right, some of the jokes expressed in Rock 101 do not necessarily reflect the good taste of our staff and management here at this radio station. Good morning. Try and stump us. We're 3-0 uh, so far. All right. What's with the fat woman in a moped got come? And a what? A fat woman in a moped. Yeah. Simple stuff. They're both fun to ride till your friends catch on them. Hey! Poor nothing. <laughs> We're gonna shut them out today. <laughs> Rock 101. Hey, Mark, I got one for you. All right. Oh, you remember that one, You Mike. can't make a vitamin, but you can make the hormone. Oh. Yes. Ho, ho, ho. Honor roll. Hi, man. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Stop the you want for stuff the comic? Yeah, go ahead. You can try. Okay. What does the Starship Enterprise have in common with toilet paper? Yeah, for crying out loud. You know that one, James? This is that. You can put this one on your uh, on your uh, UFO bit. Okay. They both circle Uranus looking for Klingons. Uh, <laughs> Fourth factor six. Good morning. Stop them. You gotta be good. All right, all right. Yeah. What do you have when you stand three women from Pelzer side by side? Incoming scuds. Yeah. <laughs> stand three women from Pelzer side by side. I think I'm gonna like our punchline better, but go ahead. One full set of teeth. One full set of teeth. There we go. We have a winner. Yeah, so I guess you'll be at the punchline for Rock 101 night next Tuesday. Sounds good. Who is this? It's Scott Cross. Scott and me, James Gregory. Hey, how you doing? Hello, how are you? All right. Seen any UFOs lately? No, not, not lately. How about tornadoes? Yeah. What's that? You live in a brick house? No, I live in Malden, apartment Malden. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll see you Tuesday night. You tell everybody the upstate's home of rock and roll. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to start off by, um, I'm going to ask you what, what kind of music you like and stuff like that, and then we'll just, like, chat a little bit more, and then we'll go... gong show contestant? Uh, I went to L.A. to live with my sister, and she says, Joey, you play that harp, man. You got to go on the gong show. I said, what's that? You know, she goes, well, let's watch it. So we watched it, and then she goes, I said, well, it's going to take, like, months to get on it. She called up. I was down at the uh, Small World Restaurant in Hollywood, California, about two days later, interviewing with a bunch of freaks, and these people come rob the streets from <laughs> Hollywood, you know. And then uh, I got the second interview, and I played for Chuck Barris and his studio pianist. Uh -huh. And then, uh, next thing I know, about a week later, I got a call to go on the gong show, and uh, it was wild. You're so modest, you never told us this. I probably forgot. Modest or embarrassed? <laughs> <laughs> Even the other. No. So when you won, what did you get? Uh, I got not much. I mean, it's not like the Wheel of Fortune. God, I was really felt ripped off back then. I guess it was a lot of money, but I got $532.16, a kiss from Miss Hollywood, which was mm. two feet taller than me, uh -huh. a midget throwing confetti in my hair. And a kiss from Chuck Barris, who were two feet shorter than you. And wired to the, to the max. The guy was, Is he wired? Oh, he's totally wired. Did you ever meet him before, James? No. Uh, yeah. He was definitely wired. But uh, that's why I was with those hats over his eyes. Didn't want anybody to see him, really. You gonna try and stay in show business when you go back to Seattle? Definitely. I'm getting into it more serious now because I'm, you know, a little bit older and I'm not such a kid anymore. I don't go to Kagers when I'm supposed to go to agents' conventions and things. And <laughs> you definitely play the blues. James, what kind of music do you like? Anything by Merle Haggard, really. That, really? I'm sorry, I can't help you out here. I know. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. <laughs> Well, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go to the Let's phones. To see if anybody can stump the comics this morning in Rock 101. Give us a call. If you want to get on, you got to be good. 
and characters proudly welcome the Jeff Healy Band and Winger. And for the mother daughter look like Yeah, you come around after I made the trip. All the information's hot. You come around after I made the trip. Well, you're just too fast for me. <laughs> Stand by. 7.56 in the morning, couple before 8 now at Rock 101 WROQ. Getting ready for River Place Festival. Make sure it's a part of your weekend plans. And while you're out there, stop by our booth. We'll uh, get you acquainted with your favorite Rock 101 Air Aces and get you registered for a Sega Genesis video system. And Joe Carr, our Whammer Jammer man with harmonica and hands, said he'd stop by sometime on Saturday afternoon. You can meet him and say goodbye to him. And I believe when Buddy Guy takes the stage with American Federal and Horizon Productions, on Saturday night, I'll be out there for the festivities, and we're going to get you to wail on your horn one more time. You and bet. A big old farewell that I think might impress Buddy Guy, who was touted as the best guitar player alive by Eric Clapton. Mm. Be a bluesy Saturday night at River Place, weather permitting. They're talking about uh, sunshine today, partly cloudy skies and mild tonight, and a chance of widely scattered showers and thunderstorms uh, tomorrow and Sunday. But can I say that weather won't affect us at all at the punchline? Sure. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Rain, snow, sleep, we'll be two shows a night, two shows tomorrow. Two three five L A F F. That's two three five laugh for All for my fans, it's five two three three. Sometimes my fans can't figure out the letters on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> five two three three. Let's check in for our next one on one second update. Here's News 13's Judy Fleming. Mike plans to build garbage incinerators in Greenville and Cherokee County. Oh, Mike plans to build garbage incinerators. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. A Rock 101. I took a taxpayer expense. I didn't think much of the story, and oh. <laughs> look. I'd like to take a look at it. Yeah, you're busted. Look at it. Here and there, and we'll just go on. You well, zoom right in on that. Oh, I did. Bucks Automatic book. The lineup for the Curry concert to take place later this month. Just can't be seen. I'm waiting for somebody to say you're going to need it, Norm. Paul Sting and many others. Producer Harvey Goldsmith says the show is going to be anchored from Wembley Arena. Are you sure it's not a fish angle? Are you sure it's not a fish angle? Really? Alison Moye, Lisa Stansfield, Snap, and others. He says MTV will air it. The convicted graffiti artist, jail for scrolling his handle, Chaka, at least 10,000. Lock your sports with the Dr. Mike Allen. In the NBA, Atlanta over Detroit. We got ahead to do that. Oh, lock the door! Lock the door! Through the cart and I went, and then he hit beside me and I was like, okay, let this shit slide because I want to do a job in this one. Here. <laughs> My face is right here where the cart was. Really? Did you I walked in, walked right around the door and whoa! You know, flying carts everywhere. What was he mad at? Minor screw up. Nothing we haven't ever fucked up before. <laughs> me not being a minor here is what it is. I failed my minor to class and oh well. Screw the finish for it. That's part of the business. What the hell? Just well, give me a catcher's bitch to come to work. <laughs> yeah, James is going to tell him what we're saying about him. Oh, yeah, we're going to snitch on him. Yeah. Uh, I think I've been here about two months. So I'm just I'm like, no pay, no light. You know. <laughs> it was done. Atlanta, Georgia. Right? Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Do you, I've been here they got some good bands down there, don't they? I have no idea. Oh. No? <laughs> I got here at four. <laughs> I passed through Atlanta when I came here. I like the horse-drawn carriages they got down there. Couldn't sleep. Really? Actually, 2 o'clock in the morning, the sun's going, or the moon's going, Hello! Mike. You dummy. Mike! <laughs> you look. <laughs> what time do you have to be here? I'd be here at 5. Oh. Speak up, speak up. He said a mackerel came over on the mackerel boat. And the shrimp came over on the shrimp boat. What's the crab come over on? The toilet seat? Uh, Captain Stingy. The captain's dinghy. Yeah. <laughs> nah. I suppose we have to give her tickets for something like that, don't we? Oh. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, may a tornado find your trailer. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> While you're not home, of course. We don't yeah. want to get her shit. No, certainly not. And your name is? Karen Burgoyne. Where are you from, Karen? Pestonville. How about that? Uh, Got a pair of tickets to Rock 101 night next Tuesday. All right. Tell everybody at the station that gets you up with those disgusting jokes. Rock 101. Hang on. Alright, that's good. Go ahead. Um Rock
1-0-1 WROQ, the upstate's home of classic rock and roll, and the who, you better, you better, you bet. 8.06 in the morning. That's one of those long songs that DJs love because then we can run down to the bathroom, take right. take advantage of the facilities, and right. make it back and still have some time to play. Yeah, grab it on that. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like that. It's not like that on an airplane, is it, James? Oh, no. Uh, that's why I come, I, I come to Greenville and say I have to drive up here. Yeah. Go matter of fact, it's been five years since I've taken a job I couldn't drive to. Because hmm? I got more and more afraid to fly, you know. And you don't have to make jokes anymore. I mean, the jokes are over with. Just read the paper, watch the news. Northwest Airlines fired three pilots for being drunk. Everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. Drunk pilots. Right. The next time you fly Northwest, if you want to aggravate them, here's how you can do it. When they come around to take your drink order, just say, I'll have one of the pilots right now. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like that. No. Here's a joke I made up, too. It's kind of like takeoff or like how many so-and-sos that take the screw in the light bulb, that kind of joke. Right. How many Northwest pilots does it take to fly a plane? Two and a fifth. <laughs> <laughs> and this right here is so bizarre, to this day everybody thinks it's a joke. You have to be an avid newspaper reader to know that this really happened. In recent months there were five incidents of where a plane, for no obvious reason, would be sitting on the runway and the engine would just fall on the pavement. <laughs> Fell out of the case and it hit the ground. The FAA, when they got through their investigation, said that was caused by a malfunction in the airplane toilet. In the toilet. They, do, do you see what they're saying? Yeah. Somebody flushed the commode and the damn motor fell off. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what I mean? Next time you're up there about 35,000 feet, you're sitting there going, I don't think I can hold this any longer. <laughs> think again. <Yeah. laughs> I, mean, I don't care if you pee in your briefcase. <laughs> Stay out of the bathroom. James Gregory, ladies and gentlemen, two shows tonight and tomorrow at the Punchline. Now, you give so much to the upstate. You've done benefits, and of course, you make us laugh every time you visit. It's time for them to give back a little to you. Are you ready to try and play yeah, stuff the comics? Let's do it. All right, good morning. This is a always Oh, let's talk about that. Right. Right. We'll do it after the next record. My name is Benson, B-E-N-S-O-N, Mike, like as in microphone, and I, I am cheap, and I will work in Seattle. Yes. Call me, 298-0614. That's 297-0614. Yes, definitely. Yes, he does. He's coming with me. He's a hostage. It's a takeover. I'm cheap. <laughs> I'm cheaper. <laughs> Seattle's a big market. I'm cheaper. <laughs> I don't work for less money. <laughs> uh, we are bidding, we are bidding. And you, sir? You're free. <laughs> open the door, open the door. Tell us, 8 11 now at Rock 101 WROQ, the exclusive River Place weekend weather track. Sunny today, partly cloudy tonight. Slight chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms tomorrow and Sunday. Temperatures in the 80s and overnight lows in the mid 50s. Right now in Midtown Greenville at Top Park Central, it's 56 with the Leonard Skinner Band on Rock 101 WROQ. You know, I used to look like that. Here we go. Real good. <laughs> Rock 101. Yeah, go ahead. Do you want uh, the fifth one or... Um, so, do you something that we can use on the air? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. We're painting one or two. Hi. Um, can I try another one? Yeah. Yeah. Um, why is P yelling some white? What? Why is P yelling some white? Later. Rock 101. <laughs> yeah, you still stuck in the comments. Yeah. All right, how y'all doing this morning? We're, we're doing fine now that you called. All right, I like to hear that. You know why uh, the Iraqis bought us as a Levi Strauss brand condo? Why do Iraqis? Can we have an interpreter here? Why do Iraqis? Why do Iraqis? I thought he said. Try that one more time, sir. Okay, you know why the Iraqis? So they can all watch wrestling. Uh, we're close, so they all can both 
Watch the tractor pull on TV. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of inspiration. <laughs> Vince, we have two more tickets to the punchline for Rock 101 next Tuesday, all right? Okay, I appreciate it, man. You hold the line a second. Okay. Thanks. Uh-huh. That's Elmer Friday. That's Elmer Friday. You want to take a guess on how old Rusty Miller was? How old? He's only 25. Leave us to Oh, really? It sounded like he was 25. Most of us. WROQ, the upstate's home of classic rock and roll, That Smell, Leonard Skinner Band, 817 now. People are calling in with their pitiful puns this morning. Some of them indeed do smell, don't they, Jim? Oh, they're just awful. Oh, very bad, very bad jokes this morning. But uh, if you want to get on, you can try and stump us, but you got to be good, all right? Get on your next album, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just might do that. That was a good bit. I like that. You have a new record out. Yeah, matter of fact, it's on the Epic label. It's in all the record stores nationwide. That's called it. Could be a law. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's on cassettes and CDs. Mm -hmm. I want everybody to go out and pick up one. Every time you go out and buy one, I get a nickel. That's but, you, know, you, get, you get a hell, nickel? Hell, it adds up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same company that signed Michael Jackson, you know. Oh. This is part of Sony Music, which is formerly CBS Records. Right. And I had signed with them back when they were CBS. Mm -hmm. And I think they gave Michael more money than they gave me. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I've heard rumors. And he's making like a billion dollars? Uh, well, potentially that over the next few years. Oh, man. Yeah. You know how Michael Jackson picks his nose, don't you? Through, well. a, through a catalog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I like that. You can save that one for your <laughs> next album, too. It's called It Could Be a Law, I Don't Know. Right. And it's available at any record store in the upstate. But just virtually all record stores, yeah. All right. Yeah. If you'd like more information, you can give us a call here at Rock 101. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get away with that on BBC broadcasting, can you? Absolutely not. <laughs> Are you from England? <laughs> yes, I'm from Sheffield. Huh, your queen's ugly. I might want to That's the ugliest woman I've ever seen. <laughs> no offense, but she's well, just ugly Well, woman. you know, <laughs> we try not to take these things too personally. But you can. But no, 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 no. It should be a law, shouldn't it? Ought to be a law. And a queen needs to at least have some sort It'd of... be prettier than that, either stay inside. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and she's the richest woman on the <laughs> <laughs> Billions of dollars. Rich and, of course, ugly. But being that ugly, you need money. She doesn't have to worry if about... If you got that kind of money, you can be ugly. <laughs> right? yeah. You don't have to worry about tornadoes coming in and oh, no. hitting Buckingham Palace or anything like that. How long have you been in our country? Uh, not very long. I'm visiting my parents here. Oh, really? And they're making you work, huh? Well, I'm sort of hanging out here on the morning show, and we'll, we'll see what develops here. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, how long have your parents lived here? They've been transferred uh, to Michelin. To where? To Michelin. Works in the International Division at Michelin. Michelin. Penny Lane came on over and uh, she had a gig at uh, Michelin, the tire company. Oh, okay. Their North American yeah. headquarters are right here oh, on 85 okay. and Pelham Road. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. okay. Anyway, the phones are ringing, and uh, Penny, if you want to go ahead and put your ear muffs on so you don't get embarrassed anymore. I should, Mike, really. An old friend is standing by with another <laughs> joke, an attempt to stump the comics.
the Lexan joke. How does that go now? What do you call it? Anorexic. Anorexic. Dys dyslexic <laughs> insomnia. <laughs> and that's your story? Uh, dyslexic and... What do you call Lex. 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 Ick. Ick. Dyslexic. 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 Just let it roll off your tongue. Dyslexic. <laughs> Agnostic. Dyslexic. There you go. And he's on Yeah. Maniac. I love it. I'm going to let you uh, do the honors after. We'll do one more segment with James. Then we'll have Penny do the honors for Joe. Yeah, because I did. You're not leaving. Mm -hmm. Pardon? I think there's three for a second. We'll do one more break and that's it. <laughs> Eddie Griffith comes on at night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did I miss? What comes on? Eddie Griffith comes on at night. <laughs> I'm his first stage first. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, here Dallas has had some real bad planning. They've picked their last day. <laughs> For tonight, when Joe Carr, the Whammer Jammer Man with harmonica in hand, is going to be uh, indulging in his last day today on the People's mm. Morning Show. Joe Carr, history. We're going to miss you, Joe. Wham, I'm going to miss you guys. We're going to have him blow one more time in just a few minutes. You're rocking on 1WROQ, exclusive River Place weekend weather track. Sunny today, partly cloudy tonight. Slight chance now in Midtown Greenville at Top Park Central. It's 59 in the morning time with raspberries on Rock 101. WROQ. <laughs> All right, let's get one more set of calls here, and we'll wrap on it. Black 101. Yeah, I got a joke for you. All right. Why can't pig me women wear tampons? I can hear you. I don't Why know that we can use this. Why can't pig me women wear tampons? Why can't pig me women wear tampons? Uh-huh. I don't know. A trip over the string. Right. Mm. A trip over the string. <laughs> the strings, no, strings. Yeah, we can't use that on the air. Oh, okay, thank Sorry. you. Rock 101. <laughs> you know, what did Mike Benson's wife say when he blew in her ear? What did my wife say when I blew in her ear? Hmm. Yeah. I give up. Thanks for the refill. Thanks for the refill. <clears throat> you know, sir, I'm going to let you tell that one to her yourself. Hang on a second here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll let you tell this one to her yourself. Let's see what kind of man you really are. <laughs> oh, we didn't have a connection here. Let's try that one more time. Oh, let's see. She already heard it. She's calling you, sir. All right. We'll give you tickets for that. Hang on a sec. Let me edit it, uh, edit it in. Yeah. I give up. Thanks for the refill. James Gregory, it's always a pleasure to have you in town. It's my pleasure. All right. And I'll do like you build it here. Thank you. We'll have, hope to have you back soon. Okay. All right. Well, it is Joe Carr's last day. I know. We're going to miss him, Mike. Very much. Okay. After you say very much, we'll pick it up. See you. Thanks, James. Thank you, sir. Last day we have prepared some nice parting gifts for you, Joe. Absolutely. You know, he's going to be a great success. I have a very good feeling about that. Sure, especially if they revive the gong show. I Absolutely. <laughs> what do we have for him as a parting gift? We've got some t-shirts and coffee mugs and a lot of things from our prize closet for Joe this morning. And I do want you to be my guest tomorrow afternoon at River Place. Definitely. I'll be broadcasting live from the Rock and Roll booth uh, Saturday afternoon between 2 and 6 o'clock. We want you to drop by and... Uh, Maybe sign some autographs, play your heart for the crowd. Fantastic. And then Saturday night, when American Federal teams would rock 101 to bring Buddy Guy, Blues Sensation. Oh. I'm looking forward to that. 10.30 is showtime on that. I have the honors of introducing Buddy. Excellent. Who is touted as the world's greatest guitar player by Eric Clapton. That's quite mm. a mysterious credentials. I want you to play for him. I 
we will. Bring you up on stage and do one final farewell from Joe Carr. Give them a little taste of what they might get, Joe. Right. Come on, Joe. One more time, the Whammer Jammer Man with harmonica in hand. I'm Rock 101 WROQ, Joe Carr. show buddy guy touted he is touted as the world's greatest guitar player by eric clapton you are touted by all of us here as the upstate's finest harmonica player can we get you to blow your harp just a second joe hell yeah blow joe blow let's do it
Freeman, your Greenville, and Bradshaw Olds Buick Cadillac Chevrolet Geo Greer. A classical Soviet conductor who defected to the United States got a taste of classic rock and roll this morning. Edvard Shevchel was the guest on Rock 101's morning show. He talked with Mike Benson about everything from Soviet politics to Frank Zappa. Well, tonight, Mr. Shevchel will shift gears again and rehearse with the Greenville Symphony. The Soviet conductor says the language barrier may actually help him. Then actually, the less the conductor speaks, the better. Musicians don't generally like it when a conductor talks too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has to go from more from his hands, his eyes, and his soul. The symphony is rehearsing for this weekend's symphonic dance festival. Mr. Shevchel will guest conduct works by Strauss and Tchaikovsky. A black organization inspired. May said, yes, you are. Yeah, so you're looking at like this eight-foot drop in a whirlpool and then another like ten-foot drop. And uh, so I said, no, I can't do it. And they said, yeah, you can. So they got me in the raft. And we went over it and we did great. And it was a thrill. How about that? <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Uh, it's just probably as, almost as dangerous as what the doctor's doing, if not more so. Well, they said like, you know, a lot of people, well, not a lot, but several people have been killed there. So you have to, you have to know what you're doing. All right, well, thanks for sharing that with okay, us. Okay, bye-bye. Good morning, Rock 101. Huh? You're on the Harris Poll. Yes, uh, what's the question? We're talking about Dane. Well, never mind. <laughs> what were you calling for? Oh, uh, hey, Mike, uh, this is John, man. John, I'm busy right now. Can you call me back later, please? Yeah, man. Thanks. Good morning, Rock 101. Rock 101. Hello? Rock 101. Rock 101. Let me tell you about a good moment I had. I'm sorry, what? A moment in sports I had? Yeah. I played with a high, high drifters paintball team out of Greenville, South Carolina. Now, paintball is when you shoot each other with paint pellets that indicate if you've been hit or not. It's kind exactly. of like war games. We played in a tournament up at Bowling Springs, yep. North, Car North Carolina. Right. We won the 1991 Southeastern shootout up there. How about that? So that was a good moment we had. I'm sure it was. We're going to the Nationals next month with it in Tennessee. Good luck to you. Thank you. And uh, good luck to the doctor up there. All right, well, please. Good luck to him. All right, bye now. Rock 101. Yes, Joe, your hair is going on. Yeah, it absolutely is. Absolutely. Yeah, please go ahead and respond. Okay. Uh, I've ridden my bike 220 miles from Charleston. You went all the way from Charleston, to, yeah. and you're talking about a bicycle. In one day. Not a motorcycle. Not a bicycle. How about that? I bet you were sore. Yeah. He's got nothing. The, the air jump, that's no problem. Yeah, it happens a lot faster. Yeah. <laughs> How long did it take you to do that? Uh, 13 and a half hours. And it's going to take doctor about 7 to 10 minutes. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. Okay. Rock 101. Yeah, you're doing the hair Yes, ma'am. Um, I played in a church softball league. Yeah. Here, and I was the catcher, which is always kind of a no good position, but I was determined I was going to make it good. Right. And I caught a pop foul for an out right in front of the other team's bench, and right before I caught it, so I got it, and I caught it, and it just thrilled me to, but I caught it, and I was that thrilled. Congratulations. That's great moment in sport. That is great. <laughs> That's the stuff you dream about on those cold winter days. You better believe it. All that right. was the only year I played that. Uh, you need to get All you right. back there again. Thanks for calling, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and thanks for your response in the Harris Poll. I know that Greenville's going to get behind this idea. It's the Doctor's Red Cross Celebrity Challenge. We're hoping to raise $20,000 to put back into the financial coffins of... Ooh, that's the wrong word to use. <laughs> it's the Doctor's Red Cross Celebrity Challenge. We're ho hoping to raise $20,000 to... put. <laughs> back there again. Thanks for calling, and thanks for your response in the Harris Poll. I know that Greenville's going to get behind this idea. It's the Doctor's Red Cross Celebrity Challenge, with an opportunity for us all to join hands across the... Standing by with their aides. Film at home. See ya. We have a great idea for you this morning. Oh, yeah. 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 These people have eggs. We've got a morning jam egg for them today. <laughs> so instead of potholders, we're going to use Sheila. I guess we need a pretty good distance.